Where the hell is everybody? Ah, oh, damn. There, now I can see what the hell's going on. Hey guys, gonna be a lot of information today. Uh, so stay tuned, we'll get you started right away. Thanks. Good afternoon, wish every enthusiast and newbies. Welcome into the rabbit hole with Cal Sheaves. I am blind as a freaking bat. I can't see a damn thing, so we're taking a break from the contact lenses. Got the goggles on. Getting ready to uh, go for a second uh, pre-op for LASIK eye surgery. So she wants me to take out the contacts, wear glasses for a little while. So that's why the goggles. Anyway, guys, it's been a while since I've done a video. It's been busy. It's been hectic. Florida, yada, yada, yada. So today, we're coming at you with Zingari Man. This is the Sego formula. This is uh, Heather's Tallow Base. Magician. Oak Moss. Orange Blossom and Fern. Haven't even used it yet. Great scent on this. Love it. Uh, my buddy, uh, Jason Bryan, Distorted Edge, sent me a sample. I don't remember the scent. I will list it here. But, uh, of course, I had to go and buy the set. Of course, the matching aftershave bomb comes in a frosted glass bottle. Whereas some of her earlier ones came in the plastic pump bottle. And, of course, we're going to go with my Coyote Cuts with the coin on the bottom, synthetic, 24 millimeter. And this one I bought, this one I won and then traded, and I am going to slaughter your last name, so I'll just call you Jason, and uh, we'll put your last name in the edits here. So, looks like about a four eighths, Got about a, uh, what the heck did I measure? 75 millimeter cutting edge on it. And this one is from Sweden. This is a class Tornblom. And this one has about a 60 millimeter cutting edge. And this is also from Sweden. This is a Kifa. I did use this one a couple weeks ago. And it did bite me back here a little bit, but we'll give it a go again. I'm looking forward to doing a dual shave with both of these. Uh, both are stropped, ready to go. And also, I've been trying a new mustache wax lately. So, shout out to Lucas, Red Engine Co. And uh, this is from British Columbia, Canada. Uh, Qualicom Beach, and I might be pronouncing it wrong, organic. And some of these proceeds um, from the sales of these go to charities. It's uh, about a medium hold. It's got a really nice scent. Love it. And this is big, this lately has become part of my EDC, my everyday carry. I keep this in my pocket along with just a uh, uh, Rockwell mustache comb that I use. Scraping it with uh, that. So anyway, guys, we're gonna get this geared up. Actually, what we're going to do is we're just going to wet the face, and I just recently got the Ice Cube Travel Size from Phoenix Artisan. So I guess you wet your face, give it a quick uh, rub on, help rinse your face, wash it off, and then you apply it again. So. Heavily mentholated. I guess this is to help wash your face. So, I guess to help wash your face, get your face prepped, and you can also use it for additional slickness, which I know with Heather's products, I don't need additional slickness. So, leave that on there for a minute. Grab our Coyote Cuts brush. Don't need to soak a synthetic. We're going to tilt our camera down. Get a bit of a build going on here. Ok, 
Okay, we'll give that a go like that. I could probably build that up some more, probably should. I'll let it go like that. I'm just gonna get my face a quick rinse. So reapply, and they say go against the grain. Now this is the travel version of his large cube that he sells. I don't have that, but I want something because I don't shave very often. I'm busy and I have light beard girl, so something like this is more than sufficient. Just keep dipping the tips of that brush. Get this built up the way I want it. So, first pass with the grain, at least on my cheeks. First time using this razor. About a four eighths. It's the smallest razor I've ever used. And I believe I've got about. Uh, Two weeks worth of growth, I believe. I used to shave with my glasses, so. I'll shape that up better on the next pass. So that is the uh, Torn Bloom on my left side. Uh, we'll take the shorter Kifa. We'll go on my right side. Now, as I said, it's been quite hectic lately. Uh, the trip to Florida, again, uh, going back, um, seeing uh, the LASIK eye surgery clinic. I've been wearing glasses since I was about five or six years old and I've had enough. And if I qualify, if I can get it done, um, actually we're just gonna go for a second pre-surgery. Nice edge on this razor. I do have some that are a little bit smoother. 
Um, I haven't had a chance to use a straight in quite a while, so I'm a little bit out of practice with it. And I typically use a 5 8 6 8 or my big ale 8 8 So, definitely takes us some getting used to using something that small. Barber's notch in that one, which is really nice. Today, I think, is March 7th. Sunday the 7th, Sunday the 8th, I'm not exactly sure, but like I said, we went down to uh, Clearwater area uh, where her parents are snowbirds. I'm going to go had a great time. I've never been before. I'm not used to flying. I'm going to take off the glasses, so i get my cheek. No, it was just unbelievable. I've never seen palm trees before. We went to Maduro Beach and John's Pass and uh, oh, our parents drove us all over the place. It was just unbelievable. Not too far from Tampa, just uh, west of Tampa. So actually one night there was a major storm coming through and there was actually a tornado touched down just a street or two down from where we were staying at, at our parents' place. And, uh, yeah, but uh, definitely had a great time down there. I'm down there on, uh, I believe it was March 5th. I sent a picture to my friends in East Coast Attics. Hi, guys. I'm wearing, in the morning, I'm wearing show, shorts. Drinking my coffee, having my first cigar of the day, and they're driving in a snowstorm up here, so they were kind of <laughs> impressed with that. Okay. Going against the grain on my cheek here. I take off the glasses because they're in the way. Relying on muscle memory. Great scent on that soap, great slickness. I like the cube, that extra kick of menthol. So, Douglas Smythe and Fran, it's really nice, love that. Yeah, John's Pass, and I've never seen flamingos or pelicans before. And we stopped into a cigar shop there. I bought a few cigars at Cuban Paradise. I'm hoping to go back and buy some more from there when we go back. Really tasty cigars. We went over to Ybor City. That was kind of cool. They were in the process of holding a festival, some celebration of their heritage on that day. We didn't stick around for the parade, but uh, definitely uh, quite the place to be, I guess. pass against the grain on my neck. This is the torn bloom. I honestly don't know if that is honeware or if that's the way it was made where it tapers down this way. I'm not really sure. I don't remember what Jason told me, so. Jason, if you watch this video, if you want to please let me know. It's fun to use these. I prefer the bigger blades, but these are fun. Come up on our cheeks.
Yeah, very nice. Well, I really don't know anything about these razors. I did haven't had a chance to do research on it, so I've been trucking hard. But that spine almost looks something like a frame back, in my opinion. So if you know about it, leave in the comments. So we'll get ready to go against the green on right side with my weaker hand. No, so while we're out there, my girlfriend suggested we go out to Sawgrass, which is a park of some kind, and uh, you can see alligators out there. And I'll post pictures in here, but there was a big one out there. I guess it is alligators, not crocodiles. Some turtles and some different types of birds, and what obviously what we have here. Very neat to see. Oh yeah, when we were out to uh, John's Pass, there was a place where they had exhibits there and you could actually go in and they had baby alligators yearlings are up to just a few years old and you could actually feed them hot dogs. So you pay a few bucks or whatever and uh, yeah, I got to feed uh, alligators hot dogs. It's kind of cool. See if I can get just a little bit closer on my neck. Oh yeah, it's much better. Anyway guys, we're gonna pause this. I find it easier if I go to the kitchen, use the uh, spray faucet in the kitchen and uh, just wash this off my beard. And so uh, anyway guys, we'll be back in just a few minutes. Yeah, hey guys, we're back. Got her washed out. Just that spot back there, it's where it bit me the other week. So I don't know if there was just a touch of it there and I just real recut it or what. But overall, really nice. Strangely, it's like I said, I've never used a blade that small. It's almost BBS. So once my hair follicles dry, they'll go back below the skin line and we'll be good to go. So, use a matching aftershave balm. And of course, links to all this stuff in the description. Love the size of this. Really, really nice scent. And now what we do is just tidy up our mustache real quick. I've been using different mustache waxes, trying different things, still learning how to do these, so comb it through. All I do. My hands are a little bit slippery. I just take that. This is quite soft. There, now I can eat and drink coffee without having my mustache in the way. So, Lucas, 
really liking this. He said, it's a, I would say, medium hold. I'm going to keep the length of the mustache for the foreseeable future. So, wait guys, long overdue, but it's going to wrap this one up. Again, Singari Man, her tallow, called Sego, Magician, Oak Moss, Orange Blossom, Fern, my first time using it, so I probably didn't put nearly enough water into it. But uh, great shave with that. Matching aftershave balm. Uh, it's a four ounce, as is the soap tubs. And all of her products come with batch numbers. So for quality control, she can keep track of that stuff. So it's freaking awesome. Of course, Richard C. Otter, my coyote cuts, uh, but coined. 24 millimeter synthetic. And we use two different razors that I got from a buddy of mine, Jason, and I cannot pronounce your last name, but this is a Kifa 4 eighths. I believe I said it had about a 60 millimeter cutting edge on it. And that one actually belongs to Al Ruby. We traded for it, got it from Jason originally. And this one is a Torn, torn Blum. And this one was about a 70 millimeter. Um, smiley, Barber's Notch, about a 4 8 looks a little bit like a frame back, both Sweden made, so very awesome. So anyway guys, sorry for me like getting stuff done, it's been hectic and it's going to continue to be, uh, lots of things on the go, lots of plans, so anyway, uh, your comments, your suggestions, good, bad, indifferent, I love to hear them, I've um, been slacking off responding to, and it's just been, that, been hectic trying to truck and make money, and do all the fun things I want to do. Um, so anyway, guys, we'll see you again very soon. You guys take care. and Thanks again for everything you guys do.